We've got a mail call today and we've got a nice box from AMD as you can see here and inside there should be two processors. We've got a couple 9754S models coming in from AMD. The 9754 we've seen already, that was part of the Bergamo launch. Those were the massive 128 core CPUs at the top end with 256 threads. And we've been using those two CPUs a ton in the lab lately, getting a lot of work done with them. And they're really the fundamental underpinning for everything we do that's highly computational intensive for the CPU. The S modifier though is a little bit different. That's a 128 core product but also 128 threads. Basically what this does is the S modifier on there disables SMT. SMT is AMD's abbreviation for simultaneous multi-threading. So that's basically what gets you the double core on the 9754 and most of the other products in their line. All the AMD CPUs with SMT, which is the bulk of the portfolio that dub doubles up the threads effectively are great for hypervisors. When you allocate cores in like vSphere for instance, it will see them as distinct cores even though they're sort of pseudo cores or double cores uh, that get allocated to the main core in the CPU. All of that is really great for hypervisors and virtualization, but it's not always great when it comes to some of the high intensity workloads where running computational functions on the CPUs. That's why this S designation is really interesting because I think what it'll let us do is get better performance for certain workloads like our HPC computations and some of the AI work we're doing on chip. All of that's speculation at the moment, but what we first have to do is see what AMD has sent us. So let's crack into this box. It's always a good sign when we see these boxes that are really well taped because then we expect that uh, the goodies inside to be well taken care of. Although I'm trying to be so nice and polite with this box. I might have to get a little more and see how does it want to open? Okay. Oh, there we go. I'll just go ahead and rip at it. And here we go. We've got our CPU tray covered in the anti static pink bubbles. And uh, whoever shipped it was kind enough to strap it on the, uh, the inside. So let's get this open. And we're not expecting visually anything to be any different from the 128 core CPUs we've already been working with, but it's always fun to get more of these in the lab. One other thing that's worth noting before I pop the uh, straps on this is that these CPUs, the S designation, are just a hair less expensive. So there's a little bit of a trade-off, I guess, in the way they design the chips, but if you're needing these and these are better for your workloads than the ones with SMT enabled, a little bit of a benefit to uh, going with this model. All right, so let's pop these straps and see uh, what we've got inside here. And there is something always just exciting about having these CPU trays in the lab and voila. Two beautiful CPUs, fresh CPUs, which is even better. These aren't out of anyone's lab. They're both marked with the uh, 9754S. We're excited to put together a report to see just how these CPUs stand up for some of the really CPU computational heavy tasks that we, uh, that we run, some of the, the math computations and others that'll really punish these cores and see how the 128, 128 threads and cores stacks up to the 128 and 256 threads. And it's just a uh, illustration of which CPU works best for which workload. So stay tuned for that. For now, Kevin's got to get these things cranking.